Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, I just got this working like 10 minutes ago, so I thought I'd share this. Um, there's a lot of blog posts and confusing documentation about how to do this, but this tutorial will take you through how to do it. This is what I use to get it working. I'll leave a link down below, but it's basically just an overview of how to load in stuff asynchronously using soft object pointers and data assets. Now this is something that I've struggled with personally in the past and I would like to show you how to do it. Now on screen you've got the code that I'm using but I shall take you through take you through it one step at a time. So you don't actually need this, the asset name, the F string. That's just because I've got a T map here of strings to soft object pointers to my data assets. So if, if I've show you the tutorial data asset that I've got got a widget, a tutorial string and all the other stuff there. So if I was to and if, if I was to just add in another function here, the function blue green callable, and instead of taking a string I take in a soft object pointer. Void load soft data asset. And as a parameter I'm taking in a T soft object pointer to the data asset and the asset parameter there, generate the definition. So what is this going to do is first of all we need to get the F stream rule manager. Not even get it, we just need to initialize not even initialize the value, just say this. And then we need to just get a T shared pointer of F streamable handle. And this will come on handle and set that equal to the stream level manager and we're going to request an asynchronous load the target that we want to load is the thing that we're passing in so just um, minus asset and we need to actually convert this to a soft object path to soft object path and now we need to call a delegate to that will handle this um, asset after it's been loaded as far as I'm aware, there's no way to actually just get the asset itself. Um, there might be a way. If I've literally just stumbled across this half an hour ago, I just thought I'd make a video to try and help as many people as I can learn about this blog post that I followed and um, hopefully help some more people along the way. We're going to create a uh, F streamable lamp. Uh, F streamable delegate, and we're going to create a U object so we can bind something to it. Uh, the subsystem on asset loaded priority zero manage active handle false. If you set this to true, then this handle you'll have to deload it and um, de get rid of it essentially by yourself. As far as I'm aware, that's what that does. So, and there's a lot more. Um, a lot more parameters that I'm failing to mention right now. So this should actually just work by itself. So that's why I've got but the fact that you can't just get the um on asset loaded. Um the asset they're actually trying to pass through is why I've got this team up here. So I can just set the current asset name and then just reference it down here. But if I was to uh, just build this real quick. Am I still going? Yes, I am. Sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, life's got in the way a little bit. Uh, there we go. So, if I was to open this up now. <laughs> And come to my uh, two blueprints that I care about here. So this is the data asset that we're going to try and load in asynchronously. It's got a uh, widget class. It's got some text. And if I come here, uh, just double check that it's in the setup. Yep. So just call it here async load asset. I'm just going to call my test 
make sure it's spelt just exactly the same as it is on the setup component well my setup component or whatever you guys are using and there we go it should just and now when we click on the button on the event it should just say don't mind that error that's completely unrelated it's from something else uh, there is new blueprint Back on the test there we go that's it loaded and there we go async load asset and if I wanted to call load soft data assets instead it'd be this find here and it should just say on asset loaded it shouldn't actually give us anything because we haven't told it because in the code I'm just I'm trying to get the current asset name that we haven't set in this one but it should say on asset loaded Well, that that crashed. I think what's happened is I haven't initialized this at all. So if I was to okay, since we're going to be using test anyway, let's set the current asset name is equal to test, just so we know <laughs> that this is going to be initialized. So it's not going to try and find it in because if I go back to here, then it's just it's not initialized. It's just been declared. I think that's what's going what went wrong there. Because it said Yeah it said line forty six which which was before I added this this line here. Like I said I stumbled across this about half an hour ago so not an expert on this by any by any stretch of the imagination but I got it working and wanted to share it. So if I now click play and now click the button, it should work. <laughs> Here we go. And it's giving us the right tutorial widget and tutorial string. Very nice. And just just to show that I am actually using the function I just generate use load soft data asset here. So yeah, that's how you load data assets in asynchronously. An important note to make is um, I didn't test this without this, but I think it I think it definitely helped. You need to add it into the asset manager here. So to do that, you just click add here. With, uh, asset type. I've got my primary data asset underscore tutorial and the asset base class which I just selected from here somewhere. Here we go. Uh, blueprint classes. I ticked true because I thought that what the other one was that. The directories is where you search for the data asset and you've got all these different rules here about if you should search for them recursively or the cook rule. Which is I don't know about much about cooking in Unreal, so again, no an expert, but this needs to be in here. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll leave a link to all the resources I used below, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, it'll be soon. But life is really getting in the way of me making these tutorials. I do. I am really sorry. Yeah, I do enjoy making these tutorials, and I hope you guys find them useful too. I'll see you guys in the next one.